Mm, we're in for some good eating today. As you can see in that picture, it's a little sloppy. Well, it's in fact Philly Cheesesteak Sloppy Joes. This one's yummy, as they all are. So let's make it right now. A baking sheet and some parchment paper is how we're going to start. The first thing we're going to do is toasty up our buns. So I got four buns in the tray. If you want more, you can make more. This recipe ended up making about eight. You can use butter for this. I used mayo and it worked out fabulous. Just enough to spread on the top. That's going to go in the oven 400 degrees. About 5-10 minutes. You want it to be toasty on the edges. Our ingredients. One pound of Hamburg. Well, I'm not going to use all that, but a bunch of onions. Half a uh, bell pepper, some mushrooms, some garlic. And let's get to it right off the bat. That one pound of burger is going in our frying pan. We're going to mush it down and cook it down till it's where we want it to be. Ah, but first, let's add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, teaspoon, maybe not quite half a teaspoon to taste. We'll cook her down until it's nice and brown. It doesn't have to be perfect. It is going in the oven, so it'll cook a little bit more. There, that looks good. There's still some residual fat, but we're just going to try and get the burger out without the fat, because we're going to use that. There's our ground beef. All right. Now I used half of the onions probably a good cup of diced onions and to that are mushrooms which was about half about four ounces five ounces and our half red pepper now as I dump this in I'm realizing that there really isn't a whole lot of red pepper so I went and chopped up the rest of the mushrooms that I needed to use and while I'm at it I chopped up the rest of the pepper I probably could have gone and got a whole one and it would have been just fine. The taste was still there. So it's all mixed together. Check on our buns. They're almost there. I'd like them a little crispier than that. Even though they're going to go back in the oven, it's okay. So here's our veggies looking good. So in goes our ground beef. Now we've got half a sloppy joe's more like working on being sloppy enough to be a joe a little bit of garlic mix it all up and this is going to be two tablespoons ish Worcestershire sauce along with that we need some ketchup two good tablespoons of ketchup And then we're going to carefully mix it all around. Looks good. Smells really good right now. This is one cup of beef broth. And don't worry. We're going to thicken it up. A little extra salt and pepper to go with it. And once again, to your taste, I just decided it needed a little extra. Now, this comes back up to kind of a good simmer. And while we're doing that, we're going to mix... Half a cup of cold water and a good tablespoon and a half, heaping tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. Okay, now we're going to mix it all together and watch how it thickens up. You bring it back up to a good simmer to a boil and look at it, it's all nice and thick now. So we're going to add some cheese just because. How can you have a Philly cheesesteak without some cheese in the steak? I don't know. So that's half of the cup that we had. I'm going to carefully mix that together because we're going to put in the second lift and finish off the cheese because that's nowhere enough cheese. Unless you don't care for the cheese. There. We are ready to roll now. So our buns are out of the oven. 
They're crispy on the edges, but still a little soft because we're going to spoon one good spoon onto each of the bottom buns. And like I said, you could probably make, this was four burgers. I could probably get six. I guess if you really squeeze it, you could get eight, but I don't know that i go there. Provolone cheese. I had some extra, so two slices ripped apart on top. Into the oven they go. Five minutes at 400 or so till it's nice and melty like that. And now I'm trying to put the top on the bottom and it's a little hot. I'm kind of burning my fingers. I do not have asbestos fingers. So there we are. There's our four Sloppy Joe Philly cheesesteaks. And they are sloppy. They just don't look too sloppy right now because I think the cheese is holding it together. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Nothing left to do but dig in. Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.